Pikachu and Kirby. Uh, this is going to be the most adorable bloodbath ever. So, BMM. It's the Pichu Wildor making his return. As to Kirby. The Pokemon Stadium we go for game number one. And I'm kind of liking Pichu in this matchup. However, I'd like to hear what your thoughts are. No, I can kind of agree with that. Uh, just simply because Pichu's like so much faster to be able to catch up to Kirby. And just had like a little bit better kill power in terms of like his aerials. But the one thing is that, in terms of like the long game, like Pichu's gonna have to worry about obviously taking damage himself. So he might be a bit more like wary on when he's gonna use Thunder Jolts in the matchup. Like, try to keep Kirby out. Like you gotta make that count. And Kirby, no slouch in the, the kill department. Yeah, Wador, we saw a lot of those kills get picked up off of uh, off of hard reads on uh, on smash attacks. There's no guarantee that BMM is going to be quite as accommodating with his landing spots. Really just being as non-committal as you possibly can with your placement back onto the stage if you do happen to lose advantage. Seems to be the case. However, you're getting uh, you're trying to go for some hard reads yourself, BMM. He's uh he's going to live and die by the ratchetness and I respect it. Oh, the last hit of that back wow. catching the lead jump. Good stuff from BMM. That thing does kind of just stay out there for a while, doesn't it? It does. Do all I was like, yeah, the same thing can be several like Pikachu forward air and neutral air. Very active hitboxes. Yeah, neutral air. I want to say lasts for what thirty or so frames. I can't remember right offhand. Looking for that down. Oh, really? Just went for the down smash. However, the down B from BMM is going to counteract that forward smash, sending Pichu the other way across the stage. Then at 168%, Wador is not able to close this thing out. Now you're at the point when you're the Pichu player where basically anything can kill you. So you might as well like, if you're gonna like the damage to yourself at this point doesn't really matter that much. Because you're probably gonna die anyway from like a good strong hit. Yeah. Well, Wador is gotta let him rip. He's hanging tough at 174 and yeah. He went for the went for the forward smash, is very likely to pick up this kill anyway. Wador, oh man, yeah, and he has evil intentions in mind there. You saw him go You saw him yeah. go for the suck, yeah. That, that was evil when your your like little cousin did it and it's still evil right now. <laughs> Absolutely. You're truly off save for Kirby. I think we all kind of remember that pre-COVID clip when uh when the guy got it twice in a tournament and Kai threw his uh, controller down. Oh, the Bowser down. player? Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh my, like, he threw it so hard he buffered a short hop. It was actually kind of amazing. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is at least as damning for the buffer system, but nevertheless, uh, Tilt is gonna pile on a little bit more damage on BBM, but BMM, excuse me. I mean, we just saw Beast on stream. Of course I'm gonna say BBM, but either way. Oh, Down if, that, if that had spiked Kirby, that I think that could have been game. But gets the weak hit and just sends him sideways. Oh <gasps> no! Oh, directional air dodge kills him. That is okay. If you hear, if you hear liquid right now, it's because I'm pouring one out for the boy. Hang on. Rest in peace, brother. Rest in peace. You. It's like. That's like the worst kind of SD, I think. Because sometimes it's, it may not be, be, be the player's like intention. It may just be, you know, they held shield for a little bit too long and the buffer system decided to give them air dodge. So. Yeah, no, that, that's that's absolutely trash. And that's not even, you, you can't put that on the player, even necessarily. It's just kind of. That's the game we play sometimes, you know. Yeah. It's the game we all play, if we're being honest. Shouldn't have to be that way, but we deal with it as it comes, and Wador is going to have to cope with being down 1-0. So I do think that there are things that you can do to not get it to that position anyway, but also this match just seems like it's just such a hassle for Kirby in general. Yeah, just chasing down Pikachu. It's not an easy task. And Kirby, like, he's he's kind of still in the air, kind of a little bit faster in the ground, but overall not, like, the same speed as Pikachu. So if he wants to try to catch down Kirby, or Pikachu, it's kind of hard. 
Dude, we got the whole, got the whole of the chat saying, oh no, not like this. It's just uh, absolutely tragic. Back air, going to pile on a little bit more damage for BMM. And see, like, getting the damage is not the problem. And it seems like in this particular matchup, just because of the nature of Kirby, getting the kills aren't exactly the problem either. So, BMM is not doing too poorly for himself and catches below the ledge with the forward smash. BMM sitting at uh, three stocks and two at the moment. Wador, I don't know if uh, I don't know if you're gonna F smash your way out of this one. He needs to. He needs some. Uh, he needs a little bit of novelty. Yeah, definitely. Like with the last set we saw Wador on three, he got, like you said, he got a lot of kills from just smash attacks and like anti -air, like up smashes. But Pikachu is not gonna really be in the air in the same place as Puff was. So you kind of have to adjust your game plan. Oh, that back air, that could have been it, but. Skillfully going around that back air. Exactly. You're getting so much off of your ground speed. You're getting so much off of winning things in neutral. And especially, you're getting more off of grab than Puff ever did. So, when you have follow ups like that that just pull you down and send you out. There's not a whole lot that you need to do that uh, that puts your that puts your butt on the line. Wador needs to find a way in. And you gotta hit this little rat. Yep. Hardest part, he you so small. Oh my goodness. <laughs> wow. That was, like, I'm not even hating. That was just impressive. I didn't even, I didn't even expect that. I, like, Thunder was, like, off my mind completely. I had no idea, like, oh, he might kill here. Like, nope, it just kind of happened. To be fair, I don't think the Kirby uh, expected that either. And that's, uh, it wasn't even, like, Wador played a bad game or anything. Just BMM.